If you have it set up this way, you'll receive an email once your student uploads some completed assignment. You can then click on the assignment here to go directly to the course page, or you can go to your course page and click on the assignment link there. So this is the assignment they're talking about. I'm clicking on it, and I'm fortunate enough to only have one student in here, but I can see they've submitted it, but it needs grading. So to grade, you click View Grade All Submissions. Your whole class will appear here. I can see that he's left one comment. There's the file he submitted and when he submitted it. Now the quickest way to do it is to go straight to the grade, which is to click on the tick here. Okay, far quicker to do it this way because you have access to everything. Plus you've got the comment and the grading. First thing would be to download the document. And do your thing. Now. Quite often you're able to put your own comments in here, so if you feel you need to add a comment, you can always put it in and change the color. Then once you've finished going through it and grading it and whatever it is, make sure you save as, and you put it somewhere that you can track easily. Now seeing that this file was called something Alfred, why don't you just add feedback to the end of it? That's if you're going to use the feedback option. So when I go back here, depending on which scale you've chosen, we've just chosen a complete or to be submitted. So there we go. And put your comment in here. So you make whatever comment you want. And if you want to add feedback files, all you have to do is drag the file into that little box there. All right, if you want to see what comment the student made, you can have a look here. And it'll more than likely be a comment about the actual activity. So Alfred thinks it was quite easy. You can delete that comment if you want, or you can add a reply here. So let's save changes. And we'll go back to our course.